In the lawsuit filed, attorney Tom Coffey says that his client has a spotless record, 23 years working here at Louisville Fire, but despite that, he says there's a clear pattern of discrimination. He's got special hazmat training. He is someone who keeps himself as in good a shape as he possibly can to be the best firefighter he possibly can for the people of Louisville. But despite being qualified for his role, attorney Tom Coffey says his client, Louisville Fire Captain Steve Zobladil, was demoted in November of last year with no reason given. If you're going to treat someone who's dedicated as he is, there's got to be a reason for it. He's got nothing. He's got no explanation for why he would be demoted after all the years of service that he's given to Louisville. The lawsuit says there are 27 special unit captains and more than 70 captains at Engine 21. Zabladil was the oldest. He gets replaced by someone who is almost half of his age, who has nowhere near the experience that Steve does. Coffee also says there's a pattern of discrimination within the department that has unfairly limited his client's growth. From this board, which Coffey says shows color magnets next to firefighters based on race, national origin, and gender. To this picture, Coffey provided with his client's face on Nacho Libre based on a real-life Mexican priest who turned to wrestling. He has been referred to and he's been ridiculed for being a Mexican-American by uh, members of the, of the fire department by people who were higher up than him, but it never got to the breaking point until he was treated this way. WLKY reached out to the city for comment. A spokesperson tells us, as a general practice, Metro government does not comment on pending litigation. I'm Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.